Hi dear students, welcome to the virtual learning. Today we are going to see the BDD, that is the cry of children. The cry of children is a great eye opener because it deals with a lot of norms that happen in the society where we live. Yes, what many things are beyond our reach. So, even we cannot reach the children and their problems. So, for that, here there is your author Elizabeth Barrett Browning who is bringing to us the problems that they are undergoing especially the children who have no parents who are orphan she is looking things from their perspective yes she is trying to tell us what actually is happening in the society and now here we will be having the introduction that and the textual reading of the poem for who say the children we are weary and we cannot run or leap. If we care for any meadows, it were merely to drop down in them and sleep. Our knees tremble sorely in the stooping. We fall upon our faces trying to go, and underneath our heavy eyelids drooping, the reddest flower would look as pale as snow. For all day, we drag our burden tiring through the cold, dark underground. Or, oh, all day, we drive the wheels of iron in the factories round and round. So, we live in a society where we are actually focused upon our own responsibilities. Uh, certain times, we are so busy that we don't have any time to help the other. But in fact, the whole world needs everybody's help. Yes. As a tree, it does its maximum to the human beings. As the sky, it does its best to every single being that lives under its shade. And the water, it also tries to reach its finality by doing its best to both human beings and non-human beings. But as human beings, what we are doing? Are we able to help the immediate neighbor or the other human being? As child cannot do his works or her works, he depends on the elders who are taking care of the baby but not only the baby but there are many situations we need to help even the elderly one so here we are not going to see about the elderly but we are going to see about the orphans who have 
no parents this poem is written by elizabeth barrett browning about her we can read in the below given box in detailed manner elizabeth barrett browning was a great poet of english language she published a collection of poems sonnets from the portuguese aurora line the seraphim other poems she married robert browning a famous english poet and moved to italy most of her poems deal with human emotions